Look at your TV. No, not the movie, the TV. A modern flat screen TV contains an average of 8.4 kilos of plastics. Without flame retardants, this would be equivalent to roughly 6 litres of fuel in terms of potential heat release. Modern homes contain a large quantity of highly flammable materials. Things we all take for granted today, like talking on the phone, watching a movie, traveling by train or plane, would not be possible without flame retardants. They have allowed engineers to design new products which otherwise would have been abandoned due to their high fire risks. But while these technologies have changed dramatically over the last decades, the need for fire safety has not. The use of flame retardant materials is one layer among many to ensure efficient fire protection. For example, this television is not fire resistant. It does not meet high fire safety standards such as those found in Europe or the United States. The set is exposed to a small open flame for just 60 seconds. Within two to three minutes, the TV is engulfed in flames. When a TV set like this is in a residential room, the fire can quickly spread to other goods. Flashover can occur in less than five minutes. Temperatures exceeding 500 degrees can cause anything combustible to burst into flames. But what happens when a television meets a strict fire safety standard? Nothing. This test shows the same TV brand and model protected with a flame retardant plastic casing undergoing direct contact with an open flame. Even after being exposed to a larger flame, the television fails to ignite. Flame retardants also work when electrical components inside the television malfunction and overheat. In many regions across the world, TVs are made to be fire resistant, but some apply much stricter fire safety rules as this time-lapse footage reveals. The TV on the left meets high fire safety standards, whereas the one on the right does not. Fire is likely to kill more than 70,000 people every year and injure between 500,000 and 800,000 people around the world. Many of these deaths and injuries could be avoided if high fire safety standards were observed and enforced. Hopefully, one day soon, all families around the world will be equally protected and benefit from high fire safety standards for TVs.